This is Curls Queen. I look like a lion. Welcome back guys, today's video is sponsored by Curls Queen. They sent me two lovely bundles of Jericho hair in the length 16 and 18. In the package came their signature Curls Queen brush and a silky bonnet. Okay, so I am not a professional, so this is very much trial and error, but I did my best to show you guys what I did for my first time bleaching this hair this light. So if you want a more focused video on bleaching, comment below, or if you have any tips, just comment below as well. So basically, I just followed the proportions on the back of the quick blue package. It will tell you how much developer you need to pour and mix with their um, substance. <laughs> but honestly, I would just keep pouring developer until I would get a consistency that I like. So. For me, I would pour until it gets thick, but not runny, if you get what I mean. Like, um, And once it's that consistency, I'll just start applying the bleach on the hair, and I'll do it front and back, and I'll cover that with aluminum foil for 35 minutes. Now this that I'm showing you was my tester section, so I did apply the bleach closer to the roots, um, but for the serious sections, make sure that you're leaving the roots left unbleached so that it'll be easier to blend with your hair. So once that was done and I covered it for 35 minutes, I did rinse it out and I washed it and stuff and I decided I wanted it even more lighter. So I applied more bleach and left it for another 35 minutes. So. Like always, we're starting on blow dried hair. We're gonna start sectioning our leave out, which is the very first braid that you see. So, you're gonna do the same on the other side of your head. Then, I'm gonna go ahead and section the leave out in the back for when I pull my hair up and on the sides. And then, of course, that hair on the top of my head, I'm gonna section that as well. Make sure you leave out enough hair according to the thickness of your own hair. Now, you can skip the leave out in the back and on the sides if you don't plan on pulling your hair up or if you just simply want less hair left out. You can do that as well. Now, once we leave out the section, we're just gonna go ahead and start braiding our hair down. I did a different braid pattern than my previous sewing video, I believe. I think in my last video I attached some of the braids together while braiding then having multiple single braids like I did in this video. Um, if you would like to check out the sewing foundation that I did in that first video then I'll link it above. Um, it might be a little bit more beginner friendly but it doesn't matter in the end which braid pattern you follow whether you attach the braids together while you're braiding or you braid them singly and you have multiple braids that you have to sew up. It doesn't matter. Um, I just thought I would try something different in this video because I thought it would give me flatter results, but I feel like it was just more work having to sew up each braid, so yeah. <laughs> So as you can see, the first two braids that I braided down, I parted those sideways towards the top of my leave out, um, and I had them going all the way back to the back of my head. And the rest of the braids, I just had those going like straight back. I did the same on the other side. Um, I feel like this is easy for when I'm sewing down my net. I have something, a, a continuous braid to sew off of. If you get what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> um, also, please ignore my dry scalp. It's like tragic. Oh my lord. So when it's time to sew the ends of your braids up, I'm just taking them and I'm placing them right in the middle of my part and I'm just sewing them up. And I did this for each of the braids. Okay, so once we're done braiding and sewing everything up, we're gonna go in with our net. We're gonna sew that in on top of our head. 
so basically a lot of you guys were asking me what the net does so it provides a barrier between your hair and the weave and it also helps the style last longer um also it allows you to sew more hair in areas where you might not have hair to braid for a bundle to be attached so yeah um that's basically what that does <laughs> So I'm just pointing out where you are going to be sewing your net onto your head. You're going to sew it onto that first anchor braid and make sure not to sew it onto your leave out braid. Um, and on the top of your head, you're going to try and get as close as you can to the top of your leave out. Okay, so now it's time for us to start sewing our bundles down. I'm going to start with my darkest bundle and I'm going to start sewing that down underneath the braids in the back of my head. And then once I get to like a stopping point, I'm just going to take that bundle and I'm going to flip it over and continue sewing. So I'm not going to cut my bundle, I'm just going to flip it over. Okay, so I only went about halfway up my head with that dark bundle and then I stopped. And then at that point, then I just cut the remaining bundles off, the remaining hair off. Um, and then I went in with my bleach bundles on the top of my head and I just did the same thing. I placed it where I wanted it to be placed and then I started sewing it down. And then I didn't cut it, but I flipped it over. And then when I get to the top of my head, I'm going to try to get as close as I can to my leave out at the top. Okay, and here is the finished product before I styled it. Um, this hair is absolutely beautiful. Um, I just love the way this color turned out and the hair is still so soft and the curls are still intact. I'm actually very surprised to see how they held up after bleaching. And I say I'm surprised because usually whenever I bleach curly hair, the curls usually fall and they turn into a wave instead of a curl. But these curls, they just stayed beautiful. And in order to blend my hair at the top, you're gonna see me just do a three strand twist and attach a roller to the end. It looks really natural, minus my little hair right here. We can tuck that though, we can tuck her. We can tuck her, this hair, like, I'm just really surprised that this hair has held up after so many bleaches that I did on it. Like the curls are still there. If you're not shopping curls clean, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing, girl? Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you guys the different hairstyles you can do. You can pull this hair up since we left hair out in the back. And we can do a high puff with it. See how pretty that looks. And lastly, we can do a half up, half down. So basically I just took a clamp and clamped my hair back in the, at the top and I left the rest of the hair down. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube video and supporting me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and I will see you guys in the next video.